So the next article I wanted to take a look at is titled Johnny Enloe says Trump is recognized from heaven as the primary government leader of planet Earth. This is by Kyle Mantilla on rightwingwatch.org. QAnon conspiracy theorist Johnny Enloe, who, who, by the way, we've talked about him very recently. We talked about him last week on the podcast, and I talked about him on my main channel. So if you haven't seen those, you should go watch those after you watch this clip. Anyways, QAnon conspiracy theorist Johnny Enloe appeared on the Elijah Streams YouTube channel on Friday, where he declared that Donald Trump is recognized from heaven as the legitimate president of the United States and that God is actively working to make it a reality here on Earth. So I actually covered part of this interview between Johnny Enloe and Steve Schultz is the guy's name. He is the one who does the Elijah Streams YouTube channel and Elijah Streams website, maybe, or Elijah List website is what it's called. Anyway, everybody in my sphere, basically, has been watching for Johnny Enloe to release, like, a new clip, basically, because he made a ton of claims, massive QAnon supporter, massive Trump supporter, massive nutcase all around. And he made a bunch of claims about exactly what was going to happen. He was very specific about it, about how God was going to take the election out of our hands. He was going to decide the election for us. Usually he lets us take our turn at this and do it ourselves. But this one's too important. This election was too important. God's going to pick Donald Trump for us this time. That's what he said. You know, here we are. Uh after inauguration and Trump isn't the president. So what's Johnny Enlow going to say? Everybody was sitting here with bated breath, wondering how he was going to respond to it. So let's give this video a watch and see what Johnny Enlow said about it. This is basically his first appearance after the inauguration. And so there's all these dimensions the Lord is coming to affect and change right now. And President Trump still has a very... Uh, active, viable role in that, and he will still step in on the playing field itself. He's even under the playing field. Believe me, God is doing things with him, uh, and, and I won't go into it more than that, but he's not a passive player. He is recognized from heaven. I won't go into it more than that. He's trying to make it out like he has special knowledge that God told him he's not allowed to reveal yet. That's what he's saying here. And for the record, in this exact interview, a little bit later or a little bit earlier in the same interview, he tried to establish the fact that he is a prophet and that God speaks to him directly and gives him secret information, even stupid, useless information. Like, for example, he claimed that God told him where to find, like, zinc mines and salt mines and stuff in Peru so that he could tell the Peruvian government and they could go mine and make billions of dollars off of it. Why would God give a shit about that? Seriously. How is that evidence that you're a prophet? I don't know. The guy's just bizarre. But anyways, let's continue with the clip. And I won't go into it more than that, but he's not a passive player. He is recognized from heaven. He is recognized as the primary government leader on planet Earth. People need to know that. From heaven... President Trump is recognized as the primary government leader on planet Earth. President Trump will serve above board as well. He will serve above board, and God is going to do this, and it's going to be fairly quick what he does. But this is something he did speak to me earlier. He didn't give me dates. He never gave me a date on anything, just that he would win. Talking about God, I guess. God never gave this guy dates about when he was going to make Trump the, you know, the, the political leader or whatever. But Trump is already recognized as the political leader, not just of the United States, but of all of planet Earth. In heaven, he's recognized that way. Is this guy off his fucking rocker? Are you serious? Trump isn't even known as a political leader in the U.S. anymore, let alone the Earth. He's a nobody now. Like, he has zero political power. And once again, Johnny Enlow is making the one cardinal mistake every cult leader has learned you're not supposed to make, which is don't make hard predictions about things.
But you notice he he said, I'm not going to give any dates or he didn't give me any dates. That's the key, isn't it? Johnny Enlow actually believes in this biblical conspiracy theory, I guess. It's it's very complex, but it's worth understanding. I think I talked about it on my video that released recently on my main channel. But the idea basically is that Trump had the Cyrus anointing. Now, I don't know if that still applies. I don't know if Johnny Enlow believes that currently or not, like after Trump lost the election. But from my understanding, Trump would have to have won the election to retain or to receive the Cyrus anointing at all. Let me tell you how they got to the conclusion that he had the Cyrus anointing and what it is. Isaiah 45 talks about the Jews' journey from Jerusalem to Babylon after Nebuchadnezzar came and, Bab and Jerusalem fell, and then he enslaved the Jews in Babylon. And then Isaiah 45 refers to Cyrus, a pagan king, I believe, from Persia, coming to Babylon, freeing the Jews, and bringing them back to Jerusalem. So the idea is Cyrus was a pagan, but he was used by God to accomplish a goal. And they believe that since Trump was the 45th president, he has the Cyrus anointing, which was described in Isaiah 45. You know, Isaiah 45, 45th president, there's some weird loose numbers connection there. But to have that anointing, I guess Johnny Enlow said... Trump has to serve two terms or it doesn't apply. And it turns out Trump just wasn't significant at all in the belief system. That's what he said before. Well, it turns out Trump didn't get two terms. We know that now. So how does Johnny Enlow explain that away? I guess he explains it away by saying that Trump is recognized in heaven as the political leader. I don't know what that means logistically for Trump. Like, what, what can Trump possibly do? Does he command God or God's army of angels or what? I don't know. I don't know exactly what that means. It, it means nothing in reality. But Johnny Enlow did just say in this clip that he was going to have a... that he wasn't done and he was going to play a major political role in the world again, but he wasn't given any solid dates. So I guess the next step is for Trump to basically die of old age, right? Like then this conspiracy will be proven wrong again. Anyway, let's keep listening to Enlo and see what else he had to say here. Speak to me earlier. He didn't give me dates. He never gave me a date on anything just that he would win. Here's the deal. I don't call myself prophet. I don't put it on my website. I don't. Uh, I don't announce myself as Prophet Johnny. A lot of people do. And in fact, that's how I'm announced most. And when I'm contacted, when I'm called, when government leaders contact me, that's... Why the fuck are government leaders calling this guy? That's fucking disturbing, right? Is it just me? If you don't believe that you're a prophet, then you would reject those claims. When people call me a cult expert, I reject it. I do not call myself a cult expert. I am not a cult expert. I'm a cult communicator at best. I don't feel like I could take on the title of cult expert without going through college to get a degree, like a PhD in this or something. I mean, this is a serious studied field that people go to school for like decades over. You can't just start calling yourself an expert just because you want to. That's not how this shit works. That's what they they call me and if you receive me as a prophet if you believe you're a prophet then call yourself a prophet if you don't believe that you're a prophet then reject it when other people do it i think his real fear here of calling himself a prophet is the fact that he wants to live under an uh, a government that basically has laws similar to the Old Testament. That's what dominionism is, and he is a dominionist. He wants the U.S. to have Old Testament laws as our laws. That's what he wants. And in those laws, if you claim to be a prophet and you're not, you'll be stoned to death. That's what happens. 
So I genuinely think that he's he's shooting for the goal of living in a United States that has Old Testament laws as our laws, and he doesn't want to risk a stoning when that actually happens. When government leaders contact me, that's what they, they call me. And if you receive me as a prophet, I'm a prophet. If you don't, I'm not. That's ambiguous. I don't sit here and say, if you think I'm a cult expert, I'm a cult expert. If you don't think I am, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a cult expert. That's just what it is. I love talking about this shit. I love studying this shit. I've researched the hell out of it. I know an awful lot about it because sometimes I get people sending me uh, information that they went through a lot of trouble to find, like call, you know, calling the FBI and, and filing freedom of information requests to get classified information declassified and sending it to me. So I happen to know a lot about this stuff, but I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert. Why is it so fucking difficult for this guy to sit here and say, I am not a prophet? Why can't he just come out and say that? If a prophet to you means, do I get everything 100% correct, including timing, nuance, everything, every detail? Yeah, that's what it means, because God is speaking directly to you, right? Why would God mislead you into saying something wrong? Either God's talking to you or not, right? If you tell me, God said Armageddon is going to take place in 1975, and then Armageddon does not take place in 1975, I'm going to start doubting that you have a line to God, just like Jehovah's Witnesses did. So yeah, if you're telling me that God is speaking to you, I expect you to get it correct. Otherwise, what fucking use is it? Absolutely not. So if that's your criteria for am I a prophet, then I'm not. That should be the criteria. What other criteria would there be? So if I'm not and I'm telling you, I go with that for you. Then you can't stone me either because I'm not a false prophet. Interesting. I guess he really is concerned about getting stoned to death, isn't he? Yeah, I will tell you for those who don't know. You know, I have met with the mayor and said there's soon going to be discovered in your city two salt mines. And it was discovered. I said there's going to be a silver mine discovered. It was discovered. There's going Why the fuck would God give a shit about any of that? Why would God care? Why would God tell him any of this shit? You would think that God would be passing down important instructions about what's about to happen to the world or how to make the world better in, in one way or another or, or whatever else. Why is he telling this jag off where to find salt mines so that he can get rich off of it? This is fucking bizarre. That's not where the clip ends. There's actually an article written by Hemant Mehta on the Friendly Atheist website about this. The title is Lying Preacher. Heaven says Trump is the government leader on planet Earth. So let's give it a read and see what it says. Pastor Johnny Enlow, who once said our nation's future would involve the terms BT and AT, before Trump and after Trump, that QAnon was going to be proven so thoroughly that the score of the college football championship was a sign that Trump would remain in power, is still spreading conspiracy theories. This time he's saying Trump is still president, according to heaven. Here's a quote from the video we just watched. Believe me, God is doing things with him, and I, talking about Trump, and I won't go into it more than that. But he's not a passive player. He is recognized from heaven as the primary government leader on planet Earth. People need to know that. From heaven, President Trump is recognized as the primary government leader on planet Earth. This is Hemant Mehta speaking again. Forget the popular vote. Forget even the electoral college. All that matters now is whatever the courts of heaven say. Enlo should go even further and tell conservative Christians to just stay home for all future elections since God's got everything under control. Not only would that mean following his own advice, he'd actually be doing everyone a favor. But he won't ever say that because even he knows he's full of shit. That's actually an interesting point because... Johnny Enlow actually said in this video about before Trump and after Trump that God told him it's out of our hands. Trump is going to be president. God usually gives us the choice of who we elect, but he's going to he's going to make the choice this time for us. Your nation will be known as before Trump and after Trump. And he said the nations the will be known as before Trump, after Trump. 
And the Lord, it was like, he's like, I'm really not interested in your all's vote this time. I'm doing it. I usually give you all that option. This time I'm not. This is a rescue operation from heaven. This is this is a, a, a moment of the ages. This will go down. This time period will go down as a before and after AD. What happened, man? What happened? I thought Trump was going to be president installed as a dictator by God. Did did God drop the ball? Did he change his mind and just not tell you? Did he tell you that it was okay to tell other people this? What happened? Something happened because Trump isn't president and you specifically told us that God told you that he would be. Was God talking about Biden the whole time by mistake? I mean, did you think he was talking about Trump because you liked Trump? but God was actually talking about Biden. Did God install Biden as the president specifically? Did he take it out of your stupid hands for that specific reason? This guy has no shame. This guy has zero shame. You know what he's going to continue on to do? He's going to continue on to make false prediction after false prediction until the day he dies. He's going to continue calling himself a prophet until the day he dies, and he's going to continue embarrassing himself until the end of time.